Hey guys, good morning from the beautiful Gulf Coast of Texas. Can't see a freaking thing right now. I say good morning, but it's just after midnight. Um, I wanted to pop on here and uh, talk about the pros and cons of trucking. You know, you're, you're really... Um, my, my sister asked me to talk about this uh, in the comments section. And, uh, you know, you're really thinking about becoming a trucker or you're, or you're thinking about a career path. You're young, you're 21, 22 years old. You're not sure if you want to go to college or if you want to take on a trade. Well, here's the pros and cons of trucking, at least uh, some that I've come up with off the top of my head. So I'll start with the good news, the pros. Um, you're always needed. Uh, you're going to have a job. It's not like you're getting a degree in painting the left claw of a Siamese cat or something like that. Um, you're not spending all kinds of money on a job that you're not going to that you're not gonna uh, have a return on, uh, or not even a job, just a field. Uh, very minimal investment for a high return. That was the huge one for me. Uh, some some people try to say, oh, you're just taking the easy way out. Well, yeah, uh, life is a math game. And if you can spend $6,000 and turn around and make 80,000 in the next, uh, Make thirty thousand your first year, and then grow all the way up to eighty to a hundred thousand with only six thousand invested. Absolutely, do it. Uh, but then you'll want to go on and listen to uh, some of these cons later on. Um, it's definitely not for everyone. Uh, so another pro that uh, I've come up with is I love to travel. I grew up traveling with my grandparents. Um, Occasionally, you know, my mom worked so stinking hard that we couldn't travel very much. We had a great, you know, a great uh, life at home. But uh, I grew up traveling with my grandparents. Uh, they had the ability, and they took us, and um, uh, I was I became addicted. Uh, uh, the grandparents that took me, uh, my papa and my nana. My papa was the uh, main truck driver in the family. Him and my dad, and you know, just again, hooked on traveling, hooked on going and seeing and doing things. Uh, so, great pro. Um, let's see, another another pro would be uh, meeting interesting people outside of one's own perspective or worldview, uh, outside of one's own culture. Uh, some of the most interesting people I've ever met uh, were in uh, were homeless people. Uh, most of them were in California. It's a sad situation over there right now. Uh, some some in different places, you know. Uh, Maryland and uh, uh, I haven't met any other place I've seen them around other places but mainly talk to people in Maryland and California as far as homeless people very interesting very very cool people to talk to a lot of them they're just down on their luck they've gone through something um, a lot of them are vets that have gotten hooked on something because of what they've gone through uh, they've turned to substance abuse very sad um, so yeah I'm very honored to be able to interact with those people uh, another pro would be uh, I get to see distant family and friends. So if you've got friends and family scattered across the country, uh, an over-the-road trucking job might be for you, just so you can uh, spend some time with each of them. Uh, I've got I've got family and friends literally all over the world, and uh, this has helped me see some of them quite a bit more than I would have. Um, Finally, and, and very big for me, is a sense of being a, an important contributor to uh, society. I keep looking down because I've got notes, trying to get a little more organized. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, being being an, a, a contributing citizen, it really helps with the feeling of, um, you know, I guess fulfillment and uh, satisfaction, you know, knowing that you're needed. It's great. So uh, with that, I'm going to move on to the cons, or as I like to refer to them, sacrifices. Because while they might be cons, um, with anything good, you have to make sacrifices. I mean, uh, coming into the uh, job market, you're going to have to understand that. You're going to have to make sacrifices, and you're going to have to take, take risks if you want to get anywhere. So uh, my first and biggest con for me, I'm a dad of six. I have a beautiful wife at home. And, uh, hey guys, I love you. Um, but I have a diminished family life because I have an over-the-road position. Um, 
there are some some uh, local positions out there they don't pay nearly as much and frankly until I find one that pays enough to uh, pay our bills and keep a little bit of money in savings I, I can't go back to anything I, I've got to stick with over the road so yeah that's that's the biggest con for me personally maybe you don't have a wife and kids that's great and it's it's great for you to get started in this just know that that's a big one um, another big one for me which you can really um, you can mitigate uh, through diet and different things but is health decline when I started driving uh, I was 195 pounds and now I'm around 235 pretty shameful you know uh, I've spent a lot of my downtime out here playing video games or going to the movies or eating instead of being more um, proactive with my health I mean you can do simple 30 or 40 minutes a day I mean you have to take a 30 minute uh, break every day anyway uh, simple 30 or 40 minutes you can do a calisthenics to offset that um, very simple exercises you can find them on YouTube you don't need any equipment it's free just use your body um, also um, portion control uh, the, the, my favorite diet honestly is to go keto and portion control or keto and uh, caloric counting at the same time but uh, I'm trying to save money right now so I've gone back to a more balanced macro diet macro for anybody who doesn't know what macros is I'm just talking about carbs fat and protein just having a more balanced uh, profile with that because it's cheaper um, it just you can't eat as much uh, you can't eat as much because the because carbs and fats have a higher uh, calorie density I guess um, so another another con or really a sacrifice is like I said earlier you've got to take risks so it's high risk it's one of the most dangerous jobs on on the on the planet I would say uh, statistically because there's so many truck drivers out here uh, I'm sure if there were less than some of the other professions would rise to the top as far as far as danger goes um, but high risk high danger um, you've got to stay vigilant because people on the road most of them frankly don't belong out here they're nuts uh, they want to do everything but drive I've seen women go down the road in the morning eating a bowl of cereal and putting on makeup like and driving with her freaking knee like how, how, how I don't know I don't know what people are thinking man watching movies with their feet propped up I've seen plenty of truckers do that like they're driving 80 80,000 pounds down the road and they've got their feet up on the dash like a, like like it's a recliner and they've got a laptop on the on the dashboard thinking the cops aren't gonna see it and apparently they don't I guess but sitting there watching movies uh, <laughs> whew, come on people so that's very dangerous very high, very high risk and then you've got inclement weather road conditions uh, one one uh, crazy ridiculous thing I heard of just the other day from one of my buddies he called me and he said man you wouldn't believe what I saw I was driving down the road and all of a sudden everybody was stopped and uh, when I got up there uh, there was just a big hole all the way across the road it was in the mountains and a sinkhole opened up and a, uh, a little car got stopped just in time to where its front end was hanging down into the sinkhole and then another truck almost shoved them off into it so sometimes the most unexpected happens out here and it can end your life in a heartbeat and a lot of other people's lives so there's that the danger aspect um, another con that is uh, pretty detrimental for me for my health and everything is uh, hang on a second I've got a guy here Good morning, driver. hey how are you how's you like everybody else yeah I work over at the Chrome Shop part-time driver you mind letting an old soldier hit a couple of rooms so I can earn something to eat today I sure. had no work in a couple of days. I'd sure, be, go for it, please. I'd be more than happy to bust my ass on your ring for a little while. Yeah, let me make sure I got cash for you. I don't want you to work. Let me make sure I got some cash. I don't want you to work without getting paid. Give me a second. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll give you a cheap enough deal. I'll pay for the ATM charge no. if you have to. No, I got, I got cash, brother. Oh, I got cash. Thanks for your service. Driver, I'm not trying to pull no chances. I'm just trying to work. We ain't had no work, honestly, on my mother's grave. Not for four fucking days in the fucking prom shop. Brother. Seriously. That's the only reason why I'm out so late. Otherwise, I'd be at home watching TV. I'll take care of you. Thank, I'll take, I'll thank you. I'll take care of you, driver. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Cut. You might an old soldier work because I tell you this much, Uncle Sam sure don't care about it. No, no they don't. Not, not always, nope. <laughs> so that was, that was uh, one of our fellow veterans asking me for work. Um, wow, it's, it's an honor. Like, that's some that sometimes you can really tell uh, whether they're telling the truth or not based on how they act. Very seldom do I have somebody offering to do work for me. They just ask it for money. So, um, wow. So, uh, yeah. Long periods of boredom. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> kind of broke up there. Gosh. Long periods of boredom. Uh, that's, a, that's a big problem for me. Um, there'll be times whenever I can't sleep on a 10 hour break, you have to have a 10 hour break after every 14 hours of on duty service or 11 hours of driving. And my temptation is to play video games, watch um, mindless entertainment, like <laughs> just sitcoms and stuff. And I'm sorry, you know, thanks to my uncle, I'm starting to get away from that and uh, starting to fill more of that time. If I don't exercise or something, starting to fill more of that time with just self learning on YouTube. Um, some of the things I've been learning, uh, I, I'm, I have a really strong interest in linguistics and uh, and uh, etymology, so I've been learning languages. Right now I'm working on Latin a little bit. Um, I've already got a somewhat strong background in, uh, in um, Spanish, and uh, it, it really helps. Also speaking English helps because we have a lot of Latin root in our language. Um, anyway, I digress. <laughs> Finally, a, a sacrifice that I, I find is really, you know, it's easy to, it's easy to mitigate as well. It's just the expense of living out here. Um, if you solely live on truck stop food and showers and don't take advantage of the, um, don't take, gosh, gosh, I'm so thankful for that guy. Man, uh, don't take advantage of, of, of the, just different resources. You got to be resourceful, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, there's ways to get free food. There's ways to save money on food. Um, pardon me for my truck being crazy uh, dirty right now, but I'm just going to show you. I've got a refrigerator. That's my bunk back there with all my junk on it. I've got a microwave and I've got an Instapot down there. And uh, it's basically like having a, a rolling kitchen. I've got jugs of water that I refill so I don't have to hang on he's coming back yes sir hey would you mind taking a look at the one wheel I got done so you can get a little before and after the look for it no I, that's okay man uh, okay, I'm no, working I just on wanted to make sure okay. I trust you what <laughs> I do <laughs> sorry I'm not used to people being this nice no I, yeah, I ain't that a shame it is it, the, yeah I, I mean if when you listen, age. man, very seldom do I have people asking me to do work for me. So if you're well, asking, you know, I'm not trying to. I'm if not you're trying asking, to, I trust you, man. Yeah, I'm not trying to yeah. beg you, you know, like these other guys do. But when I was your age, kid, I'll tell you, the world was different. I mean, it's. Yep. I remember. I used to be able to ride my bike around town. Now I. Feel? Oh. Oh. Yes, it is. I don't. We gotta. I mean, we just gotta do I've it. I've been I looking mean, at the way things are going lately, and I'm just like. Really? What, 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 what's wrong with you? The, no! But, but I get some preaching to the choir, huh? Yeah, you re really, man. I mean, all you gotta do is turn on the news. That's all they do is push the bad stuff, you know? You know, I got one question. What's up? I've been watching the news like that for fucking years, right? When the hell is there ever gonna be any good news? Yeah, exactly. If it bleeds, it leads. So, uh... Expensive to live. Very expensive to live out here. Um, if you don't get into a point system with truck stops, uh, you will have to pay. And I, I know that season, you, if any season truckers are watching this, I know I'm telling you things you already know. I mean, you've been out here a while, so I'm not. I'm not trying to, you know, be all knowledgeable and smart about this. I'm just trying to inform people who might. Uh, come into our business uh, so um, things that I a lot of things that I wasn't told uh, yeah you can get free showers instead of spending $12 a day on showers uh, uh, 
like I said, the food issue. Um, man, I've lost my train of thought. Huh. Uh, I guess I do trust him uh, for cleaning, but I also, you never want to get in a situation where you are outside alone with somebody um, necessarily. Like, I'm in a dark place. Uh, nobody else can see what's going on. Anything could happen. You have That's another risk out here. You can interact with people, but you have to be careful how you do it. Um, not being within eye shot, it can get you stabbed in a heartbeat, get you shot in a heartbeat. And I'm sure he's not going to do anything, but in the off chance that um, he does want to rob me or something, you know, you got to be careful. Uh, just choose your venue when you talk to people you don't know. So anyway, with that... Um, those are the pros and cons just off the top of my head, and uh, this has been a pretty eventful video. Uh, very thankful to be able to to uh, interact with a vet today. I don't think he's homeless, but, but definitely he's in need right now, and I appreciate his service. So uh, with that, um, I'm going to take off, and I'm going to get ready to roll. Thanks. Bye.